Named after Henry Louis Le Chatelier, Le Chatelier's principle states the following. Well, what does it mean? In this video, we will briefly go over the concept and how it is used in chemistry. Don't forget to take a mini quiz at the end of this video. According to Le Chatelier's principle, when a stress is applied to a chemical system at equilibrium, the equilibrium will shift in order to relieve the stress. It seems to make sense. After all, everyone wants to relieve stress. I guess it is the same for the chemical reactions. Typically, chemical equations are written with reactants on the left side and products on the right side, with an arrow pointing from reactants to products. However, the reality is that a chemical reaction is at equilibrium. It means that a reaction may proceed in the forward direction or the backward direction. And at equilibrium, both forward and backward reactions occur at the same rate. So what are the stress factors that can affect equilibrium? Number one, concentration. Increasing the concentration of reactants will shift the reaction to make more products. On the other hand, increasing the concentration of products will shift the reaction to make more reactants. Number two, temperature. Sometimes, a chemical reaction gives off heat or absorbs heat. If this is the case, heat can be considered one of the reactants or products of a reaction. Changing the temperature of a reaction is the same as adding or removing a reactant or a product. If a chemical reaction releases heat, heat is considered a product of the reaction. This reaction is called an exothermic reaction. In the exothermic reaction, if the temperature is increased, the equilibrium will shift to the left. If a chemical reaction absorbs heat, heat is considered a reactant. This reaction is called an endothermic reaction. In the endothermic reaction, if the temperature is increased, the equilibrium will shift to the right. Number 3. Pressure or volume. Pressure or volume can change if a chemical reaction involves a gas. In this case, changing the partial pressure or volume of a gas acts the same as changing its concentration. If the pressure increases, the reaction shifts towards the side with lower pressure or vice versa. Please note that adding an inert gas such as argon or neon increases the overall pressure of the system. This does not change the partial pressure of the reactants or products. Therefore, equilibrium does not shift. As we can see, we can use Le Chatelier's principle to predict the direction of a chemical reaction. Now, are you ready to take a mini quiz? Action. Question number one. Consider the following reaction. What would happen when a drying agent is added to absorb H2O. The reaction shifts to the right. Continuous removal of a product, H2O, will shift any reaction to the right. Question number two. If we allow this reaction to come to equilibrium and then compress the system by a factor of two, what would happen? The reaction shifts to the right, because this reduces the number of gas particles, which decreases the total pressure on the system. Question number three. What would happen when nitrogen gas is added to the system? Well, there will be no change. This is because N2 is not a component of this reaction. That's it for today and I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you for watching.